Hello, it's me again, doing another one of my blogs. Oops, I've accidentally covered up the camera while I was trying to move the computer. Not that it really matters, because it's probably better the camera covered. You're going to hear my voice. You haven't got to see my smelly face. Not that you can smell my face with the with my power of video. That power is not there yet. Give it a few years, perhaps there'll be some kind of retro smell of vision where you can smell what I smell like with a video. But at the moment, that technology is not there, and who'd want it anyway, when you think about it? Right, today I've been working on a future show. I've got, I'm, talking, I'm working on a podcast for next January. That's far, how far ahead I am with my podcasts. I'm crazy. I'm working on a monster, a monster theme show. We learn all about monsters, all kinds of monsters from around the world. It's really good. Anyway, but let's just do history and a poem, and then we can rag off to bed. Right, 10th of August. On this day in 1911, the House of Lords loses its power to veto over legislation, ending a two-year constitutional crisis. Wow, must have been a really boring day in history for that to make news. That's all I can say. I don't understand a word of it. Anyway, in 1920, Britain, France and other powers dismember the Ottoman Empire with the signing of the Treaty of Sevres. Okay, I've not heard of that treaty. I've heard of the Ottoman Empire, though. They were around for a long time. Anyway, 2003, Britain has its hottest day since records began, with the mercury rising to 38.1 degrees centigrade in Gravesend, Kent. I have no idea what that is in Fahrenheit, so it means nothing to me. I dare say it's hot, though. If it's the hottest day since records began, it must have been pretty damn hot. And uh, hopefully we, don't have, we won't see such hotness in this country again. We don't need that kind of hotness here in the UK. Look, look at my pale, look at my pale maggot white flesh. This needs to stay like this. It will only happen to stay like this if it doesn't get burnt by the evil sun glaring down on it and making me all red and 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 uh, lobster-like. All right, I've got a poem here. Poem of the day, random poem. It's by someone called Kenneth Rexroth. I'm pretty sure I did one of these poems before. He lived from 1905 to 1982. This poem is called Discrimination. It's from his collected shorter poem, which are copyright of 1966. Uh, here we go. Quite short. I don't mind the human race. I've got pretty used to them in these past 25 years. I don't mind if they sit next to me on streetcars or eat in the same restaurants if it's not at the same table. However, I don't approve of a woman I respect dancing with one of them. I've tried asking them to my home without success. I shouldn't care to see my own sister marry one, even if she loved him. Think of the children. Their art is interesting. They're certainly barbarous. I'm sure if given a chance, they'd kill us all in our beds. And you must admit, they smell. There you go. That was discrimination by Kenneth Rexroth. But he wasn't actually discriminating against any particular person, just the human race. So I think that's possibly done from the mindset of an alien. And like, uh, I don't think it's, I think it's quite a good message there, actually. So like people say these kind of things about other people. But um, it's all nonsense, isn't it, babe? It's all nonsense it be to be. Dog. It might be a dog. Or... No, it's not. It's just, it's, just, it's, just, it's talk. It's about if if he said, "Oh, I don't like black people or Asian people or white people or anything like that," then it would have been. But it's, I think it was by showing this the absurdity of it by being completely outside of the human race. You yeah. know, I, I yeah. think it it plays up that anybody who would say that yeah. about other people as idiots. I don't know. Yeah. That's how I was thinking about it. And I was, an alien might see us kind of thing. I don't know. And I don't know. That's my fault. Anyway, I don't really have thoughts. I'm I'm taking my thoughts back to sleep where they belong, not not coming out of my mouth, but staying in my head. That's where they belong, where they can fester and grow legs and then crawl around, and then they I tried not to let them out because they're dangerous. My thoughts, oh no, they're not. They're just stupid. What am I talking about? <laughs> hey. dangerous. Yeah, I know. I just sit in my mouth and my mind. Don't necessarily talk to each other when I'm talking. I don't know what I'm gonna say. I just daft. I'm going now. Bye. My farts are dangerous. Yes, babe, your farts are dangerous. Mm.